Hello everyone, in this video, I am just going to interface this rotary encoder module to my Arduino Uno development board. Let's get started. So in the previous lecture, we learned the working principle of this encoder module and we know that there are five terminals available in this rotary encoder module and we are just going to connect these two pins to the Arduino input pins and I am just going to connect this plus symbol that is a second pin to the 5 volt of Arduino Uno and the ground to the ground of Arduino Uno. So I just want to initially configure two input pins in my Arduino Uno for fetching the output signals that is coming out of this clock and data pins from this module. So coming to the Arduino IDE, I am just going to configure, I am just going to define the two pins, clock, I am just going to connect the clock to digital pin 6 and DT, I am just going to connect the DT to the digital pin 5. And nextly coming inside the void setup, I am just going to initialize the serial monitor. First, I am just going to write the program for testing the values that we fetch from the encoder module. So I am just initializing the serial monitor with the baud rate of 9600 as usual. And coming inside the void loop, I am just going to write a programming logic for fetching the pulses that is coming out of DT and clock pin of the encoder module. So inside this you can see the first thing that I am going to do is I am just going to read the clock pin that is the pulse output that is coming out of the clock pin of the encoder. So using digital read I am just going to read the clock pin and I am going to store the output of this return type function to the variable called output a. So I am just defining this and after that I am just going to check for a condition that is whether the output a is not equal to previous state. So I am just declaring this variable also and when coming inside the if condition if these two variables are having a different value I am just going to check for another condition that is suddenly entering into this if condition I am just going to fetch the output from the output B that is the data pin. output B is equal to digital read of DT and when I get the output B not equal to output A at that instance from the previous video we learnt that when the output A is not equal to output B that means the shaft has been rotated in clockwise direction right. So I hope you remember that when we get different types of outputs from output A and output B at same instance of time that means the shaft is rotated in clockwise direction. So I am just going to increment a variable called counter else if these two output A and output B are having equal values at same instance of time that means they are rotated in counterclockwise direction. So we are just going to decrement this counter variable. I am declaring the counter variable also and below this I am just going to print the value that I get from this rotation of the shaft that is nothing but steps 
serial dot print ln counter and suddenly after this if condition i am just going to load the previous state variable with the output a variable so now you can see once after completing this the previous state variable will be suddenly loaded with the value that is present in the output a variable so this condition will fail until the next rotation is made in the shaft whether it is a clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation until the next rotation that is made in the shaft this condition will not become true so the calculations will not be done so that's all about the logic you can see initially we are just reading the clock input pin from the encoder and we are storing that to the output a variable if the output a variable is not equal to the previous state we are just entering into this if condition suddenly after entering into this if condition we are just reading the data input pin of the microcontroller that is the data output of the encoder and we are storing that to the output b variable and then if the output b is not equal to output a we are just incrementing the counter variable because if the outputs are not equal that means the shaft has been rotated in clockwise direction and if you get a output b not equal to output a that means the shaft is rotated in clockwise direction that is different output means clockwise direction rotation of the shaft so that's why we are just incrementing the counter variable whenever we get this condition and when we get equal values that is else if it is equal we are just going to decrement the counter variable because same values in output a and output b means the shaft is rotating in counterclockwise direction and suddenly after all these process whether incrementing or decrementing based on the clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation of the shaft we are just printing the string steps in the serial monitor and after that we are printing the counter value so that's all about the programming logic if you rotate the shaft in the clockwise direction the counter variable will be incremented and then it will be printed on the serial monitor and if you rotate the shaft in the counter clockwise direction the counter variable will be decremented and then it will be printed on the serial monitor so that's all about the logic i am just going to connect my arduino uno development board to the pc through usb cable and that's all about the logic and we are just going to upload the program to the microcontroller so before that i just want to make one change that i am just connecting the data pin of the encoder to the digital pin 7 and then i am just uploading the sketch to the arduino uno development board you can see the program has been successfully uploaded to the arduino microcontroller and I am going to open the serial monitor for viewing the output. Now I am just going to make the connection between this breakout board of encoder with our Arduino Uno development board. So you can see there are 5 pinouts as I said and mentioned in the previous video just before. First pin is the clock which is the output A and second pin is the DT which is output B. So regarding to our program, so according to our program, the clock must be connected to digital pin 6 and the DT must be connected to digital pin 7, that is the output A and B. And regardless of this, we are just going to make the connection between plus pin, that is the fourth pin, to the 5 volt of the Arduino Uno development board and this ground will be connected to ground of the Arduino Uno. So I am just placing this breakout board in the breadboard and I am going to make the connections. So first pin I am just going to connect this clock pin to the digital pin 6 of Arduino Uno. And regarding the second pin, second pin I am just going to connect the second pin to the 
digital pin 7 of Arduino Uno. You can see I have connected the both the pins to the digital pin 6 and 7. And then as I said I am just going to connect the 5 volt of the Arduino Uno. That is the power supply pin of the Arduino Uno to the plus pin that is the fourth pin in this breakout board for powering up this breakout board and ground pin I will be commonly sorting the ground of this module to the ground of Arduino Uno. You can see 5 volt on ground has been connected to 4 and 5 that is plus and ground. So that's all about the connections. I am just powering up this development board with the help of USB port of the PC. Now I am just going to show you the output from the encoder module. I am just going to open the serial monitor by clicking on this icon on the top right corner of the Arduino IDE window. And you can see whenever I turn the encoder in the clockwise direction, the step value keeps on incrementing. And when I rotate the and when I rotate the encoder module in the counterclockwise direction, you can see the steps value will be decrementing. So this is our logic right, our program is working fine. So this is the output that I got on the serial monitor. Now that we have successfully tested the encoder module with the help of the Arduino Uno development board, now we are just going to build a LED dimmer which vary its brightness based on the rotation of shaft in the encoder module. So I am just going to declare a LED pin const int of led which i will be connecting it to digital pin 5 so i am just going to use the analog write function in the arduino ide so that is why i am just using a pwm compatible pin of the arduino you know development board that is so all these pins with the negation symbol that is 3 5 6 10 11 can only be used right over here for connecting the led this I have already mentioned in the previous lectures and here what I am going to do is in the increment part I am just going to write a if condition if the counter value is if the counter value is less than 255 increment the counter value and inside the else I am just going to write another if condition that is if the counter is greater than 0, decrement the counter. That is, I am just writing a check right over here. This value will not exceed the value 255. If it exceeds, this increment will not happen. And this value will not decrement below 0. If it decrements below 0 or if the value is equal to 0, this decrement will not happen. So that is why I am just writing a check right over here and after this check I am just going to write analog write of LED pin comma counter. I am just copying this and I am pasting it here also inside the void loop that is the infinite loop. So that is it you can see the values that we fetch from the encoder is directly passed to the analog write of the LED pin. So the encoder value if you turn the encoder in clockwise direction this counter variable will be increasing in value. So the increased counter value will increase the brightness of the LED and if you rotate the encoder in counter clockwise direction or in anti clockwise direction this counter variable will be decrementing. So the decreased counter value will be decreasing the brightness of the LED connected to digital pin 5. So that's all about the output. Based on the encoder shaft rotation, the brightness of the LED will be varying. 
so i'm just going to upload the program to the arduino you know development board and the program has been successfully uploaded to the arduino you know development board now in addition to the previous circuit that we built just before we are just going to add an led to the circuit so i am connecting a 220 ohms resistor and the other end of the resistor i am just going to connect the anode of the led and you can see the cathode of the led will be connected to the ground of the arduino uno development board i am just connecting the cathode of the led to the ground of arduino uno so this is the ground you can see this that one is ground and regarding the other end of the resistor that is the anode of the led i am just going to connect it to the digital pin 5 as per our program for varying the brightness of the led based on the encoder shaft position so our circuit is built let's see the output in the hardware now you can see the circuit has been built and I am going to show you the output that I got in the hardware. When I rotate the knob of the encoder towards the clockwise direction, the brightness of the LED will be kept on increasing. Will keep on increasing. You can see the brightness is being increased. This is the maximum brightness. And when I rotate the knob of the encoder in the counterclockwise direction, the brightness will be decreased. 